I wanted to show how I keep the bees when I get the bees from um, the company that I buy them from for the bee venom therapy for my dog. Um, so I get them in the little balsam boxes, and this is just a Tupperware or a thing that I cut in half and then taped um, so I could manipulate the the thing, the top of the lid, and there's holes pierced through the top. You don't want them too big. You don't want the bees to be able to crowd through. And then I also um, poked holes along the top of it. You could do more or more holes, just as long as they've got good ventilation. And then inside, I changed the paper towel. It's just a folded piece of paper towel um, on the two ends. And I have um, a spoon of honey, of, of like real honey, and this little contraption that I made out of like just some packaging, some I think it was like from nuts or something. Oh, sure, sorry, I have to do this. Sorry. Uh, and the reason that I put that on top of the the spoon with honey is the the bees will fly around inside there, and um, if you don't have that cover, they'll just like fall in the honey and die. Um, so these are the babies that I have left. Um, I have that, um, piece of, uh, paper towel, um, that I put in there, but, um, they're, in, they're not using it. Um, they like this corner because it gets morning sun. If I'm going to sting, I use a spray bottle of water just to make sure that they don't fly around. Um, the, the drippings that you see in there, that's actually bee poop. Um, so I try to clean it when I can. So I could just clean this section, change the paper towel, put a new spoon with, uh, with honey. I do that like every day or every other day, depending on how hungry they are. And then I'll quickly wipe down the side if there's no bees around. I won't obviously touch this one cause it's, that's where the, the whole cluster is. And there's a bee on the lid there, so I'm not going to lift the thing. So that's how I store my bees. Um, these holes are not that big, um, maybe an eighth of an inch, but I made them bigger um, some time ago because it was smaller. There wasn't enough ventilation, and the smell when you would open the lid was just tremendous. Uh, so there they are. So this side needs to be cleaned, and I'm hoping that you know, they'll move towards the honey and I'll be able to clean this paper towel. But this is them. Oh, there's a bee in the thing. Um, I'm going to sting Elsie tonight. Oops. I'm going to sting her tonight and uh, probably take a video.